Hi, I'm Patty. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about um, being at Mass with your child. And what I want to really start by saying is that we need to feel welcome when we come to Mass. You know, we're here as a family. We're coming together as part of God's family. And we need to know that we're welcome. You know, there are signs in church that we see. We see the, the candles are lit. There are hopefully some flowers on the, on the altar. Hopefully we'll get some smiles from our parishioners. And we need to know we're part of a family. We're part of God's family. We've come together to praise him, to pray to him, to do lots of other things too. So first and foremost, we need to help our child to understand that they're welcome as part of God's family. We have a right to be there because we've been baptised, we've been welcomed into his family, you know, earlier on in our lives. And we know from that point onwards, we're part of this great family and we need to, to take as much as we can from that. So that's the first thing. Our children watch us. That's the next thing I'd like to say. And so that when we're at church together, we need to show that it's important to us. We need to show that we like being there. We need to show that we're involved. So I would say, not only for our children, but also for ourselves, we need to get really involved. So we need to pick up a leaflet. We need to, you know, say the responses. We need to, you know, look as if we're, we're enjoying what we're doing. Look as if we're um, involved and we're part of the family, that we're not just an observer, that we're, 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 do, we're doing this with everybody else. You know, in our own families, in, on a human level, you know, we have times when we to come together as a family, don't we? Only yesterday I was, I was with my family on, on Sunday. You know, it's a bit of a ritual in our house that we come together as a family to have a meal. You know, it might be my, might be my brother who comes. It might be my niece who comes. There's always somebody. It's always a different combination. It's an important part of our week. It's what gives us identity as a family. It's the, it's the strongest expression of that we're a family and it's, it's great it's great to be together as a family and we've got to tap into that in our parish family as well and we need to contribute to that it doesn't happen by accident it's because all of us coming together have come with a common purpose to be together as a family in God's love so we've got to be a role model for our parents we've got to to show that we're enjoying it that we're involved Obviously, the, the, the mass can be quite difficult to understand sometimes. There are bits of it we really don't understand. So we, we've got to remember that we don't, we don't need to know all the answers. You know, God will give us those answers. And, and I often find when I'm at mass, for example, we listen to the readings uh, and, and they can be quite hard. Parts of it can be hard. And I, I never understand all of what I hear in the readings. But I do have the experience quite frequently that that one thing will leap out at me or one or two things that actually are really what I need to hear. I've had that experience quite a lot. And I think if you listen carefully, there will be something in those readings that will, we need to hear in terms of our own lives. So we get to hear those messages from God. That's one of the things we get when we're listening to the readings or when we're listening to the priest who you know, um, explains to us what the meaning of the readings are. So that's important. And that's something we can talk to our children about as well. So if there's been a little Bible story there in the gospel that is accessible to our child, we can, we can have a conversation when we perhaps get home about what that meant, what that meant and did we like it and what did we learn from it. So that's one thing. We come to church to be fed by God's stories and God's word. We also come to Mass, of course, to, to share in that meal. We have, we have the Holy Communion and that's what our children are, are moving towards now. They're moving towards that time when they can fully join in that, that family meal, which is Holy Communion. So the key message for us is that, uh, to give to our children, help them to understand, is that it's really Christ who's there. It's our closest meeting with Christ. It's our closest meeting with our friend and brother. Um, and that's just great. And that's something that we can take to strengthen us on our journey. So again, we don't need to be able to explain this at a really deep level. We just need to help our child to understand that and have some conversations with them about that. We also have to, again, model that reverence. 
you know, that when, when we are receiving the Holy Communion, that it means something really special to us. And, and that's something about our body language, about the way perhaps we, we, we act when we're going up to receive and when we come back, the way we receive, perhaps we, we might kneel down and say a very private prayer and we show our child that we're doing that as well and encourage them to do the same. It's those little things, isn't it? And you know, it's funny when we, we start to do these things for ourselves, it starts to mean more to us. And obviously we're modeling to our children, but it's also helping us to understand things at a deeper level. And so if we then go out from mass and we've, we've listened to the word of God and we've received his, his body, we, we know that we can take his message of love out to the world. And that's the final part of the mass. And again, we can have conversations with our children about that, you know, at, at another time. It's great to be able to do that. We may not straight away feel ready to do that, but it's something perhaps we can work towards, towards to help them understand. So we need to feel welcome. We need to listen. We need to get involved. We need to do what we can to share in all that's going on. Perhaps we need to point things out to our children, things that are happening. Why is the priest doing that? Why is that there? You know, point out objects around the church, things that we see, actions that people make. And that will help us to, to help our children to understand, but it will also help us to have a deeper understanding of what God is offering us each week when we go to, to Holy Mass. It's a wonderful, wonderful gift. And, you know, we need to share it with our children and deepen and enrich it for ourselves too as a family. So here are the questions. 